talk about the feeding tracking dogs. Now, there's a lot of different techniques, and there's a lot of people that think of a lot of different things. Okay, some things work, some things don't. Uh, but defeating a dog tracker team is very difficult, just out of the gate. It's, it's, it's almost impossible. But the thing is, is that would you rather have a shot of losing the tracking team with a dog or just completely give up? So in my belief system that you should know these techniques and if it ever comes to that situation, at least you have them in your toolbox. There's something you can employ. But a lot of times, it's not about defeating the dog, it's about defeating the handler, okay? Because the, do the dogs are highly trained. They have a good nose. So you want to defeat the tracker, uh, the handler, the dog handler. But there's lots of techniques you can utilize. And this is this uh, what we're going to start off with goes for evasion just in general. Um, a lot of times when the tracking team starts tracking someone, they have a forward tracking team that moves ahead of where they believe you're going to go. So in the case of, let's say we are, we're moving, this is us here, we're the green good guy. These are the communists looking for us, right? And, and obviously you don't want to be this close to you because I mean you're pretty much caught if they're this close. But just for demonstration purposes, we'll have them here, okay? So we got the com communist tracking team here, maybe Red Dawn China, whatever. So anyway, what we're going to do is let, let's say our objective is we're moving to where this place right here. This is this is where we want to go. Out of the gate, we don't want to keep running or moving towards this area because what the, the tracking team will do is they'll look on a map, look for key terrain features. Maybe they see something here. They think you're going here. They realize it. They'll send the forward tracking team ahead of you to cut you off and you'll run right into them. So what you're gonna do out of the gate is completely move the opposite direction, okay? And you may say, well, why would I do that? That's taking more time. Well, you're trying to get rid of a tracking team. So you're gonna move complete opposite direction. So then they'll start looking on the map over here. Maybe they're looking here. They're, so they send the four tracking team over here and then you cut back across this way. Okay, so that's that's what you're gonna do just in, in, in general knowledge, okay? When you're talking about dogs, scent they're, they're they're picking up your scent so one thing you can do is carry something in a ziploc bag of another individual that's not you and that way you have these scented materials of another individual and you can start dropping them early on in your evasion movement so it will confuse the dog because they're going to smell other other scents right so keeping those materials with you in your pack ziploc so they're not absorbing your scent and you drop it they're going to smell that scent it could help confuse them you want to make the dog handler believe that he can't trust the dog, that the dog is confused. When that starts happening, he starts second guessing what the dog's information they're relaying to him, right? And then he starts trying to analyze it, slows him down, and it gives you more time. In evasion, time and distance is what you're looking for, okay? Distance apart and time. Another strategy you can use is move through a thick dense area okay and whenever you do that you want to move in a zigzag pattern through the dense foliage and terrain so you'll, you'll be zigzagging and it'll cause the dog to go in this zigzag pattern looking for you okay so zigzagging the other thing you can do is is a big figure four right and if you do that so you're maybe going maybe you're going to this direction here and so you go way ahead, you cut back across, and then cut a figure four. This will also leave doubt in the, the handler's mind. These, these are techniques to trick and fool the handler, not necessarily the dog. The thing is, is that the scents will be picked up very easily because the, the foliage, the, the material out in nature will hold your scent if it, the more dense it is. If you're trying to alleviate your scent you want to be in an open area something that has a lot of sunlight because sun destroys scent and a lot of wind to to wind dust the area and get rid of your scent and spread it around okay so obviously being in an open area you're more uh, visible to the human eye so that's a problem but these are just strategies that you can use to defeat when you're trying to defeat the dog handler maybe he'll lose the scent you know a lot of people think you can go in water. Dogs can, can smell all that as well. 
a lot of people think you can lay down pepper or something like that. They doesn't bother the tracking dog. There's been tons of studies on that. Tracking dogs do, does not get affected by pepper spray. Now those those corny things that people say uh, on the internet. They they can smell through those things. So again, it's not about defeating the dog. It's about defeating the handler. The other thing you can do, like the technique we talked before, is you move and make a fish hook. You can move and make a fish hook. Set up an ambush. So when they come this way, you ambush and then you can take out the handler, right? Taking out the dog won't, won't do any good because then they'll know where you are. You have to take out the handler. At that point, the dog is trained to stay with the handler. So after you take the handler down, the dog's gonna stay there with the handler. And so the, the, the danger of the dog coming to get you is over. The last couple things about scent, obviously um, you gotta use the restroom. When you, when you urinate, you don't urinate in the same spot. You dig, you dig a hole, urinate deep, dig the hole, urinate in it, and you wanna do that in different places. You don't wanna do it in the same location because that scent will get strong. Another thing is if, if you, uh, you know, defecate solid material, you wanna keep bags, that way you can seal it up, and it has to be sealed up very well so there's no smell uh, emitting from it. Um, but you gotta pack it out. You gotta pack all this stuff out, all your trash, you don't smoke, don't use any type of tobacco, all these sort of things are very strong smelling. Uh, maybe not to you because you become desensitized to them over time. A lot of smokers don't know that they smell, you know, like smoke, but to a non-smoker, you're very strong. And to a dog, they can smell it very well. Uh, dip, th that's something else. I remember being in a uh, boot camp on the uh, rifle range and, and I used to dip back in those days and I smelled uh, the, the wintergreen Kodiak from my instructors from far away, you know. Um, and I'm a human. So that's the thing, you want to eliminate your scent signatures, piss in holes, pack out your, your solid waste, seal it up, and uh, all your trash and things like that. Don't leave anything behind. Anyhow guys, just a couple techniques to defeat a dog tracking team. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Make sure you stay frosty, stay strapped, stay dangerous. Take care.